Jeremy Renner, who lives in a remote estate near Mount Rose Summit in Reno, Nevada, was recently involved in a snow plowing accident where he had to be airlifted from his property. His secluded retreat in the Sierra Nevada mountains boasts five bedrooms, a wooden cabin style interior with stone fireplaces, as well as a recording studio where Jeremy keeps his instruments. There's also a swimming pool and much more. The movie star has lived in Los Angeles in the past, but prefers it in the Reno area where he lives now and is well known in the local community, even visiting homeless centers and helping out on certain holidays like Thanksgiving. When he's not busy with his acting gigs, another hobby Jeremy has is flipping luxury homes. With his real estate partner, he's bought, renovated, and sold over two dozen Southern California properties since the early 2000s. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After being involved in a serious snow plowing accident on his property, actor Jeremy Renner was admitted to the hospital at the start of the 2023 new year. It's at his remote residence near Mount Rose Summit in Reno, Nevada, where the star likes to collect and renovate fire trucks, ambulances, snow plows, and more. At his ranch home, Jeremy is never bored and reportedly loves living in the Sierra Nevada mountains north of Lake Tahoe. It shouldn't come as a surprise that Jeremy's injury had to do with one of his industrial snow plows as he's often clearing snow on his private driveway and surrounding paths with them, and he's a lover of heavy machinery. Renner frequently posts photos on Instagram posing next to his renovated trucks and snowmobiles. When he isn't working on set, he has spent countless hours renovating around 200 vehicles, including fire engines, utility vans, an ambulance that he is converting into a vet clinic and city buses that he will transform into mobile homes. He also has a collection of snow plows. In 2021, Jeremy spoke about his property saying, it isn't a horse ranch, it's more of a horsepower branch. The Marvel actor also recently complained of more heavy snow due to unexpected winter storms across the US. And in 2021, he also shared that he was building a fire station at his home because it was a hot zone. Brenner explained about this, there's been a fire not a half mile from where my house is, pretty threatening. I'm using fire trucks for defensible space and for protecting my neighborhood, all the people up there. And he is a trained volunteer firefighter, so it seems that he knows what he's doing. Jeremy bought and moved to his secluded Reno area home nine or so years ago, and it was said to have cost him around $2 million. It's surrounded by mountains and towering pine trees, while the bedrooms overlook natural scenery. There are five bedrooms and five bathrooms throughout, as well as a rustic wooden interior, including a large wooden staircase leading to the upper level, which is hand carved. There are plenty of high ceilings and open plan living spaces in Jeremy's sprawling home, many of which offer huge stone fireplaces and chandeliers overhead, including in the formal dining room. The dining room also has a peaked roof along with a full wall of windows like many of the other rooms in the home, giving off some stunning views of the property. Elsewhere in the home, there's a cozy sunroom that doubles as a more casual dining nook, a spacious kitchen, and a study slash library. His nine-year-old daughter Ava, who he shares with his ex-wife Sonny Pacheco, has her own bedroom at the ranch with teddy bears filling the room and their dog. The actor also constructed his very own recording studio in his home, where he he keeps his drum kit, guitar, and piano. Jeremy estimates that he's written about a thousand songs here so far, and often posts pics on social media such as this one, where he's playing a guitar in his studio. Outside his remote property also has a handful of amenities, including the massive swimming pool, terrace areas, as well as a fire pit. Jeremy is well known in the local community of Reno, where he gets involved, including paying visits to homeless shelters on holidays such as Thanksgiving and helping children choose toys in the local shops. He even became an honorary Washoe County Sheriff's Office deputy in 2018 and works with fire departments in the area to help tackle blazing wildfires in the summer months. He told the Kelly Clarkson show in 2021, I work with the fire departments up there and they are pretty awesome. They are teaching me and helping me and I still have to get some more hours in with them. Jeremy chooses to live in the Reno area not only because of the beautiful mountains, but because it's apparently the biggest little city. He told the Reno Gazette that he loves the strong sense of community too, explaining, 
In a big city, it's hard to find community and even know your neighbors in a big city. But with Reno, I find I know quite a few people here. It's just big enough and it's just small enough for me and I love it. Jeremy was first introduced to the area while skiing as a youth in the Sierra during family vacations with his four younger siblings. These days, he teaches all of the children in his family how to ski in the Reno Tahoe area, though he hasn't been able to hit the slopes himself for about a decade. His consistent work schedule might keep Jeremy traveling the globe and frequenting Hollywood still, he has said in the past he always finds it refreshing to come home to Nevada. Between Jeremy's acting career, his hobby of collecting and fixing up cars and machines, making music and more, it's shocking he has time for yet another passion. Another thing that Jeremy has spent years doing is being involved in home flipping as well as home design and development, which brings another aspect of his creative personality to light. With his real estate partner Christopher Winters, Jeremy has has bought, renovated, and sold over two dozen homes in Southern California since the early 2000s. One of these many properties was purchased by selling Sunset Star and Realtor himself, Jason Oppenheim, in 2020. This home was located in the Mount Olympus area in the Hollywood Hills, and Jason purchased it for $5.1 million in an off-market deal. Jeremy actually built this home in 2008 and sold it shortly thereafter. The modern architectural style home is set above the Sunset Strip on two thirds of an acre of land and inside offers up 4,900 square feet of space as well as four beds and four baths throughout. The spacious home is quite open concept and the layout is ideal for entertaining. The courtyard entry out front leads into the double height two story great room that has a lofted lounge as well as a full a wall of steel framed glass overlooking the yard and a dramatic fireplace. The center island kitchen has white cabinets, top grade appliances, a casual dining nook and doors to outside. Other highlights in the contemporary mansion include a cozy movie theater, an office with private garden and a stunning master suite that has a private balcony overlooking the city lights. The ensuite bath here is equally stylish and has its very own fireplace too. Out back, the focal point of the grounds is certainly the large solar heated saltwater swimming pool, while bonuses include a raised spa, cabana, and elsewhere a fire pit and grassy lawn. That home was definitely beautiful, but what's likely the most lucrative house flip that Jeremy executed has got to be the $24 million Los Angeles abode he sold back in 2013. This mansion, dubbed the Reserve, located in the Homeby Hills area of LA, is probably Probably one of Jeremy and his business partner's bravest investments. The pair purchased the home in 2010 for $7 million and a whopping $10 million was said to have been invested into a remodel of the property, the assistance of architect Philip Vertok. The stunning 10,000 square foot mansion spans one massive level, along with six bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. It was designed in a unique and classic old Hollywood vibe and described in the listing as a roaring 20s art deco style abode, perfect for the 21st century's Howard Hughes. I love the design of this place, and most of the mansion's interior has this 1920s theme, boasting plenty of powder rooms, pressed tin ceilings, and highlights like a gentleman's room with bar. The estate ended up selling for the whopping price of $24 million to British real estate mogul Christian Candy, who liked the interior setup so much that he purchased most of the furnishings with the home. Situated on 1.89 acres of land, the grounds of the mansion offer a plenty of amenities, including a swimming pool with fountains and sunbathing terrace, while out front there's a massive motor court. Each bedroom in the home came with its own private bathroom with subway tiling, while the large corner master suite had his and hers bathrooms and dressing rooms. Other fun spaces included a 12-seat home theater with state-of-the-art equipment and a library hall with custom bookshelves. The open floor plan in the formal living and dining room gave maximum space for hosting parties while the stylish kitchen was so upscale it could impress any cook, offering features like two working islands and then over in the dining room, light streamed in via full walls of glass. One of those more unique spaces in the home, the gentleman's room came with a full wet bar made to impress, while the lounging area here was decked out with old headshots of actors from classic Hollywood to really complete this home's design. 
Well, that's not even close to an exhaustive list of Jeremy Renner's former homes that he's flipped in the past. You get the idea. While he's helped to design and sell some stunning mansions in LA, the actor still prefers his much more rustic and remote mansion in the Reno area of Nevada. I think that'll bring today's house tour to an end, but while we wait for Jeremy's recovery, answer this question for me. If you were in an accident on a piece of equipment or a vehicle that you love to use as a hobby, would you continue working with that same hobby after you're all healed up? Or would you be too traumatized? We don't know what Jeremy's gonna do yet, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.